His name is John Dramani Mahama. He's the president of the Republic of Ghana. Known for his simplicity, humility and respect for all, President Mahama has presided over the Republic of Ghana with a rare character, charisma and commitment typical of some of the world's greatest leaders. count um, the period of colonial rule in Ghana from about 1844. Um, there was a bond that was signed between the coastal chiefs and the British government. And so that is about when we begin to talk about colonialism. It started gradually from the south. Um, a protectorate was formed and eventually it was turned into a colony. And then a protectorate was formed in Ashanti. Eventually Ashanti was colonized. A protectorate was formed in what we call the Northern Territories, where I come from, and eventually that was added to the colony. But I'll say that colonialism started from the Berlin Conference when the scramble for Africa started, and various um, European powers, you know, uh, went into Africa and just, you know, carved up Africa amongst Any themselves. Any way they wanted to. <laughs> yes, that's right. And so we have uh, French-speaking uh, uh, countries, we have English-speaking countries, we have Portuguese-speaking countries, we have Spanish you know, speaking countries, yeah, and uh, Ghana particularly is surrounded by French-speaking countries, and so to our east, west, north, we have French-speaking countries, except the Atlantic Ocean speaks no longer. Inspired by the non-violent struggle of Mahatma Gandhi, President Mahama has written his name in Ghana's history as a man of peace. Ghana, my country, is one of these countries that is holding elections at the end of this year. And as a committed Christian and a lover of peace, I wish to pledge to you, our bishops, that I'll do my best as president of this country to maintain Ghana as an oasis of peace before, during, and after our elections. conflict zone is in Berlin, where we caught up with one of West Africa's most influential leaders. He's John Mahama, president of Ghana, lauded by the West for maintaining a stable democracy in an otherwise volatile region. In words and in deeds, President Mahama has continued to show his commitment to a nation guided by the rule of law and principles of peace, equity and justice. President Mahama's unflinching devotion to peace has inspired a movement of political supporters who, just like their president, have displayed their unwavering commitment to peace.
at President Muhammad's political rallies, he is thronged by a jubilant crowd of supporters. No outbreak of violence, no heads are broken, no bullets are fired, only an energetic crowd of happy supporters fired up and ready to go. First, I, I I had wanted to do other courses. I wanted to do law, but I mistakenly chose business administration, and somehow I missed out on all of them, and ended up doing history. But looking back, I believe that it was for teachers that I I did history, because it really has made me who I am. History makes you study human civilization, and you know study you know the world over time. I mean, to think that this world is millions and millions and millions of years old and that for all of us, myself and you, we're just a drop in time, it gives you a certain tolerance, it gives you a certain insight that you won't get from learning any other subject. And when I combine history and communications, you know, especially with um, social psychology, which is the study of human behavior. I think that that created the perfect uh, nexus to prepare me for the responsibilities that I am currently having to undertake. In August 2012, President Mahama established his name as an icon of peace when a white dove settled on his shoulder during a special delegates congress of his party the National Democratic Congress in Kumasi. All over the nation of Ghana, as Ghanaians prepare for the December 7, 2016 presidential and parliamentary elections, President Mahama has once again inspired a national movement of young Ghanaians who have come under the banner of Rock the Vote JM to restate their commitment to peaceful elections. Love you only, me love for you, I'm palming. You kill 
events, Ghanaian youths celebrate the peace they enjoy under the leadership of President Mahama. In 2011, in an article written by President John Mahama and published by the Huffington Post, he described Africa as the new Africa, a continent that is fast being defined by a politics of peace and by the will of people who are empowering themselves to shape their own future. is overfeeding Ghana with goodies with a lot of goodies I came I saw I concur I came I saw I concur somebody is overfeeding Ghana this is the vision that encapsulates John Dramani Mahama's Ghana one prosperous nation under the umbrella of peace, unity, political tolerance, and prosperity for all. <laughs> 